I welcome you all to this wonderful series of shortcut tricks. So in this video, I'm going to discuss some of the very amazing shortcut tricks to solve very important models, very important questions from rotational dynamics or rotational motions. See, let us come to the shortcut trick. This shortcut trick is mainly based on pure rolling motion. If you observe the previous year questions, we have very important model from rotational dynamics that is they'll just ask you to calculate the ratios between translational kinetic energy rotational kinetic energy or total kinetic energy they'll just interchange the terms or they'll ask you any of the two terms or any one term with respect to other two in this way they'll just twist and ask you the and ask you to calculate the ratios between this kinetic energies now the trick is whenever they'll, they'll be asking you this kinetic energies ratio just remember kin translational kinetic energy is to rotational kinetic energy is to total kinetic energy what is the ratio the ratio is 1 is to k square by r square is to 1 plus k square by r square all right so with this trick you can solve almost maximum every problem asked from this topic okay now let us come to the problem see whatever the problems i'll be taking they'll be from previous year problems only okay previous year asked questions now this question is from NEET 2018 see the question a solid sphere is in rolling motion in rolling motion a body possesses translational kinetic energy as well as rotational kinetic energy now what they're asking they're asking us to find the ratio of translational kinetic energy to the sum of translational and rotational kinetic energy for the sphere note this word sphere now see here i am solving the question what you have to calculate translational kinetic energy to the sum of translational and rotational kinetic energy now translational kinetic energy will write as it is if you observe this what we can conclude see if a body possesses generally a body possesses a rolling body possesses both translational and both translational and rotational kinetic energy now the sum of this both kinetic energies is total kinetic energy so easily we can write k total this is translational now tell me the ratios what is the ratio between translational kinetic energy and total kinetic energy write them okay write them 1 by 1 plus k square by r square just solve them 1 plus what is k k is a radius of gyration what is the radius of gyration for spear what is the radius of gyration of spear spear means generally if, if they have not mentioned then we have to take it as hollow spear okay what is a hollow spear radius of gyration 2 by 3 mr square okay 2 by 3 mr square sorry 2 by 3 r square i'm extremely sorry 2 by 3 r square and this r square as it is we will be writing so r square r square get cancelled 1 by 1 plus 2 by 3 therefore after solving finally we will be getting 5 by 3 as your final answer where is 5 by 3 option number 2 okay now let's move on to the next question see the question says is a ball rolls without slipping a radius of gyration of the body about an axis passing through center of mass is k all right now the fraction of total total energy of total kinetic energy associated with its rotational kinetic energy what they are asking is what they are asking is we have to calculate rotation the ratio of rotational kinetic energy to total kinetic energy this is what they are asking now tell me what is the relation between rotational kinetic energy and total kinetic energy k square by r square by 1 plus k square by r square now just solve this briefly i mean clearly now just take lcm k square r square plus k square by r square now this r square and this r square get cancelled the final answer will be left with k square by k square plus r square this is the final answer 
okay in just few seconds if you just calculate this type of problems i mean if you just practice this type of problems two to three times just by looking at this problems we can easily solve these questions right just we have to remember this ratio if you if you remember this ratio then think that we have already solved the problem okay in, in the simple manner in the simple way we can solve this type of questions now let's move on to the next trick now this is an another concept here let's see the question this is trick number 2 this is trick 2 or concept 2 this is just another concept now read the question system is released from rest momentum of inertia of the pulley is i okay momentum of inertia of this pulley is i find angular speed of the pulley when m okay this is the mass okay when m block falls by h okay when m1 sorry m1 m1 block falls by height some height h okay now they have given us that the release it from rest sorry this is release it from rest it means initial velocity is zero finally what we have to calculate we have to calculate the angular speed we have to calculate angular speed all right now just see carefully now what is omega omega is v by r so we need velocity r they have already given so r is radius of this pulley okay velocity you have to calculate now let us take uh, uh, acceleration what is acceleration sum of the forces by sum of the masses all right now see they have given mass of m1 okay mass of m1 block is greater than m2 therefore how can we write the force expression very simple m1 g minus m2 g by sum of the masses mass of first block mass of second block for we got acceleration now we need velocity how can we get velocity by using this kinematic formula v square is equal to u square plus 2 gh now in the question itself they have given that the system is initially released it from rest it means initial velocity is zero therefore initial velocity when it when it becomes zero uh, the final expression for velocity becomes root of 2 into m1 g minus m2 g into h by m1 plus m2 plus i by r square now what we need angular velocity what is angular velocity v by r we have got v what we have got v omega is equal to 1 by r root of what is the velocity 2 g i am taking common m1 minus m2 into h by m1 plus m2 plus i by r square so this is the final expression for our angular velocity see this question was asked in jan 2020 in mains okay in mains this question had been asked so our final answer matches to this option all right now next continue with the next question see this question is also from je mains 14 from 2014 see now read the question carefully a string on around a uniform hollow cylinder of mass m and radius r if string does not slip all right on the cylinder what with what acceleration will the mass fall on release we have to calculate acceleration see this pulley okay this uh, uniform hollow sorry this one uniform hollow cylinder it it is rotating with some angular velocity okay it's rotating some angular velocity now if the string if the if string does not slip on cylinder with what acceleration the mass fall okay it's the mass is falling with certain acceleration thus we have to calculate this acceleration itself what is the formula for acceleration sum of the forces by sum of the masses see whenever you come across in this case like if the disk is moving okay if the disk is also moving we have to include the mass of the disk also in the formula first write mg which is force next mass of the block or mass mass of this system plus mass of this disk how can we write mass of the disk we know that momentum of inertia is equal to mr square from this m can be written as i by r square therefore substitute this here i by 
r square now very simple see i what we can write i we can write as mr square so if i substitute mr square in the place of i then r r get cancel we will be having mg by m plus m this becomes mg by 2m from here mm get cancel finally our acceleration will be g by 2 this problem as i told is from j means from 2014 all right by using the simple formula simple concept we can get the acceleration all right option b is your right answer just remember whenever you find a angular velocity angular momentum or something angular velocity of the disk you have to include its mass also in your formula so thanks for watching have a good day